Good afternoon guys. I think it's about 12.45 ish. Something like that. Anyway, as you can see the top cupboard is now completely empty. Those three Dells took me all of, uh, I don't know, about 15 minutes to strip all three out. Yeah, how about that for a guess, look. <laughs> only reason I knew that is because the um, commercials were just on on the radio. Yep, I've got all the Dell parts. I didn't take the motherboard out of the Dell 1100 uh, simply because someone has glued an RJ45 connector into the Ethernet socket. So, not much use. I just took what parts I wanted off of the motherboard and other spares out of the case and that was it. I just put it on the pile on the land and I go down to the trailer. So, next job I'm going to move all these motherboards or at least remove them from the cupboard. Uh, just so I can get access to the boxes because it's the boxes I want to stack up there. So, do that for a bit when I got the camera on. Let's go throw this. I pulled on the 1100 and the uh, front panel came off. <laughs> Never mind. It doesn't matter because it's going in the bin anyway. So, there it goes. Yeah, I've, I've taken all my rubbish down, cleared up all my Coke bottles. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Oh, shit. Let's got on a toy car I actually don't want to stand on. Uh, I know I want... Well there goes a bottle cage for a bicycle. I don't know where that just... Look at that. I couldn't do that again, could I? Can you see that on there? <laughs> I think that's a good motherboard. Let's just uh, fold the steps up. I know what I'm standing on. No idea, but that'll go up the bloody G Tech later. Oh, hello. I do believe that this is another Dell motherboard, but I don't know. I don't know what Dell that came out of. That couldn't have been one of them Optiplexes, because all of those I had were exactly the same. But, uh,. This one is actually a different motherboard. Hmm. I know what I can do. Actually, going by the board connectors, this may have come out of a optiplex of some sort. Because that's the front panel connector. Yeah. I'll try and find a model number on that motherboard and Google that and that should tell me uh, what that came out of. Because I can't remember. Wireless mouse. Or well, the base for a wireless mouse. Alright. Uh, <laughs> I need some space. I'll just shift these keyboards. Oh. I may do away with that wireless keyboard. Might. <laughs> then again, knowing me, I probably won't. <laughs> right, what's this one? Yeah. Old QDI. Can't find anything on Google for QDI motherboards now. They seem to be non existent. The problem is, I've got to do this one by one. Because I've got camera in the other hand. I'm just lay these as gently as I can on the bed. Once upon a time they were all stacked up nicely in here but you know how it goes when you go ferreting around in your cupboards you turn everything upside down and you just throw it back in under the pretext of I'll sort it later. Well <laughs> later has finally come. It's only because I want to have a change around in the bedroom tackle under the bottom there next but I decided I'd tackle up here first my cable there. there's a dinky little heat, heat sink here that should be in the box under the bed 
with all the other heat sinks and uh, heat sink fans, same as this one. That's meant to be under the bed. What's that one? Just by the way that attached, that looks like. Yeah. It's an internal, and I'm going to stick it that way up so I don't get thermals paste all over the bed sheet. But now I've done that, I'll probably go and knock it and flip it over, and that'll land on heat sink paste or thermal paste side down and leave a nice mark on my bed sheet. Because, yeah, that's Murphy's Law. Or Sod's Law, as we commonly call it here. Right. Oh, yeah, these are the motherboards I wanted to operate on. Try and get them working. One day. If I don't decide to throw the buggers in the bin beforehand. Hmm. I think this one's actually a working one. I think. I'm definitely not short of a motherboard. Or ten. What's <laughs> this one? Oh, I know what this one is. That's a good working one. That goes in this e-machine's case here. Which is the exact same case as the e-machine's never obsolete machine they did. Exact same case. I bet all they did was change the motherboard. <laughs> Before I put that away, I will do a video on that. Because it made me laugh. The specs that are printed on the front. <laughs> there we go. I'll probably tuck in the bottom here when I'm done. Two more. Yeah, these are the ones I wanted to check and see if I can get working. I know some don't work. And it looks like, as it's quite obvious, blown capacitors. Right, I can go on there for a the minute. Now, the next job I'm going to need two hands for, so I'm going to turn the camera off. And yes, I am using the new one. I've actually found out if I have this running for too long, that's when it starts playing up, so I don't think it likes getting hot. So, as so long as I do short periods like this, well, I can do up to sort of half an hour. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to turn the... Uh, I'll turn the camera off and uh, start hooking things up into the top there. See how many boxes I can get up there, shall we? I think the laptop bits I may end up throwing in the bin because they're pissing me off and I'm not using them. Might be just the odd. Oh, I don't know though. I want to know where I can throw it out of the way. Yeah, right. I'll be back in a little while. Well, as I said, your people join with different motivations and some people really aren't bothered about coming to local events and that absolutely turn that off. <laughs> All done. I've just got to uh, find something I can use as a bar that will go in there and there and then I can empty the wardrobe. <laughs> um, I don't know if I dare open this cupboard door. <laughs> quite a bit of stuff in there didn't I? I'm not too keen on the keyboards up there because I mean I'll have to move those to get to the motherboards but I haven't got nowhere to put them for now so I think can stay up there. Yeah I don't know if I can make the bar in that wardrobe fit. Could if I cut it down but uh, it's not a round bar like that so I don't know if it's going to go in the end it doesn't matter if it's too long I can just take it downstairs and take a hacksaw to it oh hello got another button set on there I the weird stuff I've found any a bit of blue tack there <laughs> okay. yeah, should should get most of my clothes in there 
Yeah, I'll just leave those bits of wood up there for now. <laughs> I could make a table or something out of that as well. Got those to go up. I want to try and get some shelf brackets when I uh, get paid Thursday. So I could perhaps put, I don't know, another one there. Hang on, I've got an itchy eye. Uh, ah, I've still got all that stuff up there. I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to put that yet. Oh yeah, that was right. I was going to clear the cars out of here, wasn't I? Well, most of them at least. Uh, and sort out the ones that I really, really want to keep. And put into the box that's in here somewhere. I don't think the cat's very happy with me because he doesn't know where to lay to get some peace. Although I did um, clear the towel in the bath so he can sleep on that again. I'll probably bring each box through here and sort them out. Holy crap, the Range Rover's finally gone after a week. <laughs> that went today because it was still there last night. Uh, oh yeah, that reminds me. I need to go downstairs and just throw my traffic cones in the in the bin. Um, not the bin, the shed. I don't know what I was thinking of bin. Right, got some laces from the trainers. Stick those in. Uh, oh yeah, I still got a video to load up to the Lego channel. I've just done one to the main channel. It's only a boring one. I don't think many people will find it interesting. But uh, I know at least one person that watches me will. Because <laughs> it is uh, about um, traffic cones. Right, I'm just uh, thinking that next task. What should that be? Should I try? See if that bar in the wardrobe will fit in there. Because then I can actually close these doors. Oh, pardon me. Oh, pardon me. Oh, pardon me. Bloody hell. <laughs> uh, I think the next stage will be uh, sorting out down the bottom there. And I think a lot of that... That's better. A lot of that packing stuff will uh, just be thrown in the bin. Because uh, I'm not likely to use it, not anytime soon anyway. I might keep the jiffy bags. I might go stack those in the kitchen cupboard where I keep all the envelopes and whatnot. Possibly some of these boxes. But uh, some of them will get just thrown out. And then I can drag the boxes of cars out, go through those. And uh, get them up for sale. I may actually just change my mind on those power boards and get rid of them. I don't know. Ifs, buts, and maybes. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I need to make some room. Oh, I mustn't forget, I've got a tub of cars. I've got two tubs of cars under the bed, actually. They can come out of there and I can sort through those. Um, I could do with a little shelf put above this lot so I'll put one somewhere in there just so I can stack those um, software and games and books on yeah, so that might be what I'll end up doing with the smallest one of those. One's a bit shorter than the other and a little bit narrower. I don't know about about a centimetre narrower. I don't look like they've been cut straight either but I don't care as long as I go up against the wall nice and straight. You know, I could put one in there. That'll give me something to stack a lot of this stuff on. Then I can get some of my road lights back up on here. My barricade lights, whatever you want to call them. And uh, probably put most of those up that corner on that shelf. 
than the ones that are stacked behind me up there. Pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got one screw up there that I could hang one from. Just to turn the leads off. Yeah. That box of boards there can be thrown out. I'm not going to do anything with them. There ain't nothing useful on them, I don't think. I will go through them and just double check that there's nothing useful on them. And I think I can go in the bin. I could squeeze most of that lot up there can go under the bed actually. Apart from that blue tub because that's too tall. Damn, I like to crap in here. There we go. What do you think it is like half two in the afternoon now? Uh, well, even if I could get the clothes in here, that's most, or at least halfway done of what I wanted to do, because I'll be able to shift the cars off there, get that dismantled, so that'd be the uh, DV cabinet done. DVD cabinet, rather, not DV. Uh... That would just be a case of moving that lot out maybe tomorrow. And if I can get the wardrobe empty, I can then start butchering that and doing what I want to do with it. Um, or at least making a start. I may need to buy some brackets just for a bit of extra support. Just to stop the uh, end panels that will double up as legs from twisting. I could use metal shelf brackets like that. That would give it a bit of support at least. So what I might end up doing, I've got screws, that's not a problem, like I said, I might be able to um, bodge the bar in there to fit in there. <laughs> I might have a sort out of my clothes while I'm at it, because I've got several t-shirts like that one that are now too short. Either I've put on weight or they've shrunk, I'm not sure which. But I actually think they've shrunk, because the shirt I'm wearing still fits. <clears throat> It's got some stains on it, but it still fits as it was just a muckabout shirt when I'm at home. Anyway, time to carry on. Take the clothes out of the wardrobe, preferably leaving them on the hangers, and uh No actually I won't do that. I'll do that next, right. So time to sort the cars. Okay. Bottom's cleared out for now. <laughs> That pile of cars is going to go, I hope, in that red tub that's on that shelf. And I've got two boxes here that I want to keep. They'll get stacked back in there. Uh, and I can actually move at least three of these computers into there. I'm going to keep that one out because I'm going to have a play with that one. So if I can get these two cases plus the Dell that's just tucked up behind it all in here along with these two boxes I'll be getting somewhere um, that's another tray for s with all the stuff I want to sell although I've got to go through that and uh, and that one and just take out all the Fords I can find because I've got someone my boss who owns all the groups I admin on Facebook um, He's a Ford man, he likes all Fords, especially Transits, so I'm going to go through all my boxes later, either this evening or whenever, and uh, just find out all the Transits, photograph them, and, uh, well, I'm open to offers. Off, totally Hang on. That does is it causes <laughs> not enough pressure. Keep quiet for a minute. <laughs> I have got the first order sorted. This is going to go to Southern Ireland. But I think Ireland is just counted as a republic anyway, so... I don't think it matters what if I searched north, south, east, west. <laughs> but yeah, it's going down to the south of Ireland. He's going to, um... Well, as soon as I've received payment, that'll get posted. But I've put them in this box, so I don't lose them. I know where they are. 
There's three Fords I've sorted already. There's those two baskets or whatever you want to call them. Uh, full. There's all sorts in there. I think one thing I will do is probably over time, I'll give it a few days because I've listed them on um, the Big Boys Toys and Collectibles group that I admin. I'll give it a few days on there and if I don't actually uh, um, hear anything more then what I'll do I'll probably list or try listing some in like I don't know job lots of six because I like even num even numbers even, 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 even a bit of a star I'm keeping a lot of the older ones like that they're the ones I want to keep although there's about three quid each sitting there in them two um, transports they're not worth a great deal because one they're not boxed and two they're not in mint condition but they're not in, you know they're not in really piss poor condition but I do like those so I am keeping those two I can't bring myself to get rid of them and a lot of my other oldie ones I've kept because I don't want to get rid of them all my Ford Mustangs I kept um, some of the Hot Wheels especially the muscle cars I kept uh, my favourite emergency vehicles got kept but I've actually managed to empty two of these <laughs> so uh I've got no use for those. Well, actually, yes, I have. I've got a couple of things being... or well, I'm using a couple of these to store some items in, in my cupboard outside, but they've actually completely broken, so these two are in good condition. I'll swap those and get rid of the broken ones. I could make that into two shelves, you know. If I take this over to Mum's, and just run the table saw straight down the middle I'd have two planks of wood I could actually you know put end to end on the wall two brackets on each obviously but put them end to end and make a longer shelf in the bit in the lounge and I could probably do the same with that one if I wanted to I could paint them a different colour because I wanted Actually, I might do that because I could actually put one on. If I cut two of them in half, I could uh, probably make one long shelf to go up the top there, you know, straight over this middle bit as well. That wouldn't be a bad idea because I'd want them fairly deep for sets like this because you know they're on 32 by 32 base plates. Oh, I think I've had no idea. <laughs> Right. Oh, shit. Uh, I've emptied this twice so far today. I've already started to fill the bin up. I might be, I might, I'm going to have to keep those Lego boxes. I wa was going to chuck them out, but I'm going to be selling those. I may need those. <laughs> so, I better keep those. Most of this lot, I'm just going to eventually go through the box. I've got several boxes like this full of random junk that I need to sort through. Um, which I'd rather do sooner th rather than later. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull... Take that to Mum's when I go over during the week. And that one. Clamped. Actually, I could probably lay them on top of each other and just run them straight across the table saw. So I've never used it, but I know how to use it. <laughs> I'll put. I'll use the um, guide for a straight edge, and I'll probably use the pushy stick as well, so I don't get my hands too close. You get a plastic um, stick that you can use to push your wood through the blade, so you don't get your hands too caught, um, too close, not too caught. <laughs> too cool. Uh yes, yeah, so I've actually been rather busy. So I've spent the last sort of couple of hours doing not only sorting out the cars, which I've done, but uh getting them listed up on eBay. Um, not eBay on that um Facebook group. Gee, where's my head tonight? 
I suppose you want feeding. Yes, I want feeding as well, but I haven't decided on what I'm going to feed myself yet. I don't really want sausage, egg and chips again. Although that is re a real nice combination, so I might... <laughs> Well, that box there that needs to be sawed. I've actually got two on the shelf outside my front door that I've got to sort. But they're bike parts, so I can do that another day. <laughs> anyway, just a little update. I'll disappear. Get myself some dinner finish tidying up in the bedroom as much as I can for tonight because I've still got, I don't know, at least two hours and uh, I'll report back so talk to you later okay I've just had, well, I had dinner a couple of hours ago been playing some GTA uh. pardon me and then I had one of my what I call spells well I just Purely at random, I just felt a little bit of anxiety, a little bit nauseous. I've already been for a dump. I've got a little bit of sort of discomfort in my gut, but that usually it comes and goes. <laughs> anyway, I just deleted two video clips from here. I hope. I hope I haven't cocked it up. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you what I've done since the last clip. I've got the three PCs in the bottom there. The boxes of cars I'm keeping are behind this machine. Here. That'll help if I do that in a little bit. Um, that one's my Windows 7 machine. That one's just the spare case. And that one's another working Windows XP. Well, it was last time I turned it on. I've taken the other white shelf out. So now, there should be plenty of room in there for t-shirts and jeans to hang, which is all that's going to be hanging in there. Uh, I've got the planks there. I will um, take these to Mum's next time I go and just zip them straight down the middle with um, the table saw and make four shelves, which I'll probably make one long one with. Uh, to go in the lounge. Those PCs will probably... I'll probably stack those under the desk when I get that in there. Um, so... I'm, I'm still hoping... I might actually find a tape measure. Ha 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 ha. So I was just going to measure... Uh, from here... to there... of the wardrobe and... Uh, from... there... To here of the DVD rack um, cabinet just to see if that will go under there as well because that will actually make a bit more room in here at least and those piece or those servers can go under there and just for a bit of extra cupboard space I may put whatever I can under there under the desk as well uh, I'll probably use a hole cutter and because uh, I've got some hole cutters I think they're in the, uh, there so I can actually you know make a hole sort of something I don't know roughly like that to put cables and things through for anything I set up on top I hope <laughs> Nemo's running around because he wants grub put um these three batteries in the charger. I've got them round the right way, haven't I? Yep. What's the time? Half ten. I'll have to come off around about nine o'clock. I'll wait till midnight to put them on then. I can't guarantee I'm going to be awake. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't think I'll overcharge them by much, but I seem to be working fine with a 10 hour charge. Even though that charger says it's for double A's, but these are 950 milliamp batteries and it says 10 hours for 800. 
double A's. So they seem to be working fine anyway. They're not damaged. They're not getting too hot. We've got that ready for shipment. I'm just waiting for the payment. I've got that lot to go through. I've got to put all the Ford Transit vans I've got together and photograph them because um, the guy I admin for, I ad do a lot of admin work because he's got so many groups, so I admin uh, quite a lot of groups, he wants um, the Fords. Now, somewhere up there they are. There's a Ford Sierra, a Ford Escort and the Ford Focus. Uh, I don't think I've got any more for sale like that. I've got several I've decided to keep. <laughs> but not as many for sale. All the transit vans I've got to put are uh, in here. I'll pull those out later. I need those because I've got stuff in one of these in the outside cupboard, which is actually the um, basket is broken, so I'm going to swap it. I will double check that tub. This e-machines is on uh, Windows XP, or was, till I took it apart. Its motherboard is laying there, because the power supply died on it. Died on it not long after I got it, actually. Um, but it's an identical case to e-machines' old, never obsolete machine. It isn't, though, but it's an identical case. But, uh, I'll go into that in a bit more detail uh, in another video. So, the plan of action for tomorrow is to take the metal bar out of this and uh, cut it down to fit this cupboard if I need to, may not need to. I've got my hacksaw, my big hacksaw downstairs. I can, uh, uh. oh, pardon me. I can um, take the bar down if I want to and roughly measure it up here and take it down and fit it and uh, then it would just be a case of hang everything back up in there. I want to go um, through my t-shirts especially because uh, I've got some that don't actually fit me anymore and if they're not torn, damaged or stained then I may um, donate them to charity that's what I'll end up doing with um, a lot of these cars if I can't shift them some of them I'm going to try on eBay as job lots if I don't sell them on the uh, Big Boys Toys and Collectibles group on Facebook yeah I was having a rampage in a bulldozer till I started feeling a bit eh so I just sort of left Trevor on the side of the road in the bulldozer. <laughs> yeah, I don't go online and play it. I can't be bothered with the um, public servers. I remember the last time I had a PS3 and I went on the public service. All anyone ever does is kill you. Well, then again, all I ever do is die when I'm free roaming anyway. <laughs> Especially when I jump a car off a very high height and then end up nose diving the car. That tends to blow them up. Anyway, that is it for this video. Uh, these I'm going to throw. They're the old boards from the server. I'm going to keep the RAM. That might be something that's worth eBaying, but I don't think there's anything else in there worth it. Uh, So yeah, that'll all go in the bin. Uh, that'd be some more junk out of my way. Um, that camera's got to come apart so I can get rid of the chassis. You've got to find a... Really? Well, that's your car, not mine. <laughs> if you want to do that to it and fuck it up, then do that to it and fuck up your car. Then again, for all I know, it could be a piece of shit anyway, and he is just trying to kill it. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I 
Yeah, I've got to find a home for those. I could do with finding something to put those in. Uh, I don't have anything at the minute, though. Here we go. <sighs> I think I've got enough CD-ROM drives in here. These ones do all work. I went through them, all of them at one point, and tested them. <coughs> I think I was sort of during summer last year I did that. So yeah, you know, there's a mix of some old, sta old fashioned standard CD-ROM drives for like Windows 98 and 95, and there's DVD burners and compact disc rewriters. And all sorts in there. Black ones, white ones, I think there might even be the odd uh, SATA in there as well. Somewhere. <laughs> Empty DVD cases. Well, and PlayStation 2 cases. Cases, rather not cases. That was one hell of a slip of the tongue, wasn't it? Cases. Jeez. Xbox 360 cases as well. <laughs> I can't believe I bloody said that. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm just going to scratch my arm. So that's it. That's all I've been up to today. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. You can see me in reflecting in the window and my monitor. And my God, my windows are filthy. I'm going to have to clean those. Ugh, I'm full of fingerprints and forehead prints and... Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I already said thanks for watching, didn't I? Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Obviously, if you subscribe, you'll get to see more of these videos. If you really want to see more of these boring videos. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.